Okay, so now, today, we get down to the brass tacks on the T6070 problem uh, with the gear shift popping out of second gear. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to follow the red dot right in here. And we're going to get right close in here so that you can see it firsthand. Those teeth are actually rounded off. And you could also see that they are not clean, especially right here. You could see uh, the engagement on the synchronizer dog is completely worn away. Uh, this is the actual second gear right in here. This is the second gear and this is the old one. Now, let's compare a new one. Now, if you look and you take a look, you can see the teeth right here are very sharp and very, very defined in their engagement point. And you could see the way that they make the actual teeth. They cut it so that once it gets past this point here, it fully engages the synchronizer hub. Well, if you look over here, you can see the teeth are just rounded off so very, very badly. That's what created it pop out because if it cannot get all the way down here, all the way to where my fingernail is, it will not lock itself in. So if it's bouncing right there, just like up here with these teeth, you can see it all rounded off, especially right here. You'll excuse the little bits of uh, rust there. I washed them last night. But that's what you're looking at. And the point is very, very clear. You rush a shift. You push a shift too fast, especially if it's not broken in. And at 11,000 miles, it's not broken in. Let's take a look at the actual synchronizer surface themselves. Now, you can see right here, right where my thumbnail is, that has been very, very overstressed, which basically means someone was really working this transmission very, very, very hard. Now, the second thing you also want to look at is how many different friction surfaces we have. Because let's look, this is bronze, but yet this right here is a carbon type of frictional surface. So you actually have two different frictional surfaces in the cone area. See how they sandwich together? One cone, two cone, three cone. That's what they call a triple cone frictional surface. That's where the terminology comes from. So fluid is so, so, so critical. Using the correct fluid in the transmission, making absolutely certain that everything is bed in so it, the gears look nice and clean, just like this. Put everything together and you're going to have problems if you choose to power shift a transmission to lean on a transmission very very hard you're going to get failures like this and as you can see from the level of parts that are out on this table and the level of parts that are out on this vehicle this is not a happy repair if you have to pay for it ladies and gentlemen i hope everybody has a good wednesday and on a personal note this is 9-11 uh my heart goes out to all the first responders who are still around and all the people who suffered on that day. I hope everybody has a good one for what it's worth. Have a good day.